Hello and welcome. My name is Mark. This is Riffle Shuffle and Roll, and today you're here to learn a little game called Golden Ten. We are continuing our celebration of Rook Month here at Riffle Shuffle and Roll by taking a deep dive into the 57 card deck system and all of the games that George Parker designed with it. Now, the Rook card game playlist is growing, and after today's episode, we've got about four more games to cover. And hey, if it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Golden 10 is a card game for three to seven players. George Parker suggested that if the game is played with four, that it should be played with teams. Like many different Rook card games, Golden 10 is in the trick family and incorporates trick taking, trick avoidance, and count cards. The objective for the round is to avoid capturing red cards. The objective for the game is to be the player with the lowest score at the end of the sixth round. All you need to play Golden 10 is a standard 57 card Rook deck and a way to keep score. Golden 10 uses all of the cards except for the Rook card. It can be removed from the deck. Each player should cut the deck. To determine the dealer, the highest card deals first. We're gonna go ahead and do a three player example. You're gonna to wanna to deal the deck out in its entirety as evenly as possible. There will be two cards left over in a three player game. These will remain in the center and be captured along with the first trick. Be sure to leave them face down Nobody should look at them. All right, let's go ahead and have each player organize their hand by color and rank. Aw, oh, man. All right, that's better. Okay. So the player left of the dealer leads the first trick. We'll go ahead and say that the player here on the left side of the screen can lead first. They are going to go ahead and lead the black one. All other players at the table must match the color if they can. If they cannot match the color, they may play any card from their hand. Player two has a black card, so they are going to go ahead and play it. And player three also has a black card. They will play their black three. The highest card in the color that was led takes the trick. Since this is the first trick and there are extra cards, the player who played the seven also takes those cards and adds it to the trick. Collect the trick and place it face down near you. The player who captures the trick leads the next one. So here the player at the top chooses to lead the one green. Again, if a player can, they must match the color that was led. If they cannot, they may play any card they want. So player three plays their lowest green card and player one plays their five. The green six takes the trick and that player leads. Let's go ahead and fast forward to a trick where someone does not have a matching colored card. Player three is gonna go ahead and lead the black six Player one does not have any black cards, so they may play any card they wish. And they are gonna take advantage of this opportunity to get rid of their highest red. Remember, red cards are undesirable. You do not wanna capture them. Player two likes that idea, and they also get rid of their highest red card. The highest card in the color that was led takes the trick. So even though the two red cards are higher valued, the black six takes the trick. Let's go ahead and fast forward to the final trick. The yellow four is led, red 12, and the yellow nine. The yellow nine takes the trick. Once the final trick has been captured and collected, it's time to tally up the score. So in this game, players are trying to avoid capturing the red cards. Each red card captured earns that player a point. The red five 
earns five points, and the red 10 earns 10 points. The yellow 10, for which this game is named, Golden 10, is a little special. The Golden 10 allows you to cancel out 10 points worth of red cards. If a player has fewer than 10 points in red cards and captures the Golden 10, they only cancel out the points they have. So here the player had seven, they don't get to deduct three more from their score. They simply cancel out the cards they captured. Collect all the cards, deal passes left each round, and play six rounds. At the completion of the sixth round, the player with the lowest score wins the game. And that's how to play Golden 10. If you're looking for more card games to play with the Rook deck, please check out my Rook card game playlist. Also, down in the description, I've got plenty of links leading to my Board Game Geek page, my Reddit page, uh, the Discord channel I like to frequent, and of course, my friends over at GameRules.com. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, keep on playing.